Okay. Um, I want to go back and um, review assignment 43 because um, a few people aren't used to it being all variables. So I'm going to do it first like this with only one variable and the rest numbers and show you that you do know how to do it. You're just not used to it being all variables, okay? So let's just work this equation. So steps to solve an equation. Let's see if I got that home. Yeah. Okay. Steps to solve an equation. Before you solve an equation, you may need to combine like terms or do the distributive property. So we do need to do the distributive property before we solve this equation. So let's go down to the next row and do the distributive property. 4 times y, because they're squished together, so 4y. Now 4 times positive 2 be positive 8. Because you have to say if it's a positive or negative 8 because you need to have something go there, okay? And go ahead and leave everything else alone. We only did that one thing in this step. We just did the distributive property. So we don't have any combine any like terms. So now we're going to go ahead and solve the equation. I'm going to talk you through it because you should already know it. I'm not going to go real slowly. I usually draw a line on the equal sign. So that's my left and my right hand side the equal sign. Um, you're trying to isolate the y. So sometimes I like to go ahead and write a y right there to remind myself once the y is all by itself then I'm done solving for y. First, I want to get rid of whatever's bothering the y, whatever's keeping the y from being isolated. So I'm going to get rid of the divide 5 first. And the opposite of divide 5 is multiply 5. But what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. So once I do it, I should have opposites somewhere. 3 and 5 are not opposites. Divide 5 and multiply 5 are opposites. They cancel each other out. They're gone. So that's the only thing I'm going to do in this row. I'm going to go down to the next row. Now I have 4y plus 8 equals whatever 3 times 5 is, 15. We're still trying to get the y isolated all by itself, so we're not quite done. Let, um, I get rid of the plus 8 next. You should already know how to do this from the beginning of the school year. I'm going, to do the, I'm going to undo the operation, which is add 8, so I'm going to subtract 8. Whatever you do on one side of the equal sign, you have to do on the other side. So these two cancel each other out. They're opposites. They disappear. And now I only do that one step. So I'm going to go down to the next row. I still have 4y. I still have equals whatever 15 minus 8 is. 7. Now... I'm still, the y is still not all by itself. I need to get rid of the 4. And he's a squished 4. So that means he's a times 4. So the opposite of times is divide. One of these is going to be opposites. This is the opposites right here. So you get the y is finally by himself. y equals whatever 7 divided by 4 is in the calculator. So you'll do it in the calculator. I just picked those random numbers. Now, that's the kind of equation you're used to. But on assignment 43, you had one similar to this. You had a lot of variables, an X, an M, and a Y. So you're like, this is so weird. So a lot of you were wanting to find numbers as your answers. But we're going to do it the exact same way we did the other one. Can't really do 5 times M in a calculator. So you just squish them together, meaning they're multiplied. Next row. We're going to assume we were working it just like this, the same procedure. But there, you have to just pretend those are numbers. Sorry, I don't know where that big 5 came from. Sorry. <laughs> the opposite of a divide x would be times x. So it feels weird because it's a letter. I'm going to go ahead and work it just like you did this 5. This just happens to be an x. So these two cancel each other out. You still have the top row. And now you have 2 times x. So you just squish them together. Next, 
Um, well, I, didn't, I actually didn't say what we're solving for this time, so I'll say we're solving for, I'll say y, solving for y. So I want the y to be all by itself right here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the 5m, subtract the 5m. Here's the part you guys don't like. You're trying to get an answer right here, but you can't. Um, X's and M's, you can't add, so you're going to have to just write 2X minus 5M. I just write it across, so it doesn't, it looks more like an answer going across. But I didn't do anything, I just rewrote it. You cannot do it in a calculator. A lot of you are getting to this point and you're wanting to do something there. You're just moving all these things around and working it like you did work it with numbers, but you're working it with variables. Next, you still don't have the y by itself, so you're dividing by a y. So your answer is all of that. Now, some people want to do the divide 5 with each piece that's on top. So you need to be ready on the EOC. It could have y equals all that stuff. Because remember, you cannot do that in the calculator because you can't put an m in a regular calculator. So. Some people uh, want you to separate, divide 5 with him and divide 5 with him. So if you put that as an answer, that's good. But some people, you may want to recognize they're going to go like that. And 5 divided by 5 would just be 1. So either one of these, I would have accepted either answer. So the y is all by itself, and you ended up moving things to this side. Just remember, you're doing the same procedure as if it had numbers, but you're not punching things in the calculator as much. Okay, and you're not doing 15 minus 8. You're just writing them on the other side to get the Y by itself. So a lot of you overthinkers are wanting, you're needing to do something in the calculator to solve it, but really, you're just trying to move things around, kind of doing the opposite operations to isolate the Y. So whenever I say you're doing the opposite operations, you're showing that you would do the operations, but you're not necessarily doing them in the calculator. Okay? Okay, I hope that helps a little bit. Bye.